Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I am here with Patrick, Michael Patrick Lane. Sorry. Um, <laughs> now this is fun. You know what? And I, I'm hey, like, I call guys, you Michael. It's Missy Wolf, and I am here. <laughs> I call with you that all the time, Michael and, Patrick um, Lane. Sorry. So, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Now I screwed up. And you know what? And I, I'm hey, like, guys, I call you Michael. It's Missy Wolf, oh my gosh. And I am I'm I call you that all the time, Michael Patrick Lane. Sorry. Lane. sorry. All right. We good? <laughs> all good. I was hearing all kinds of feedback, so. Um, we'll get started in just a second, everybody. So sorry. Look at that. We tested earlier and everything, and now look at me. <laughs> oh, you look great. Killing it, man. Yeah, it. totally nailing this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. We have, we have a lot of questions, though, that people have submitted, so I can't wait to talk to you about it. First of all, I want to tell everybody that you play Earl Hutchins, um, the radio station manager um, on, the, on CMT's Sun Records. And a lot of people have sent questions about your character. And so I want to talk to you about that. Um, first, I want to know, um, Kylie, was it Ky Kylie wants to know, would you have liked to have lived in that era? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think that would be an amazing era to live in. And uh, you know what? Driving those cars actually was a blast because, you know, we actually had like real like 1950s cars that we really got to tool around. And I think there was something honorable about that era, which is why I really gravitated towards right. Earl Hutchins was because um, there were some honorable dudes. And then also you had rock and roll, the, you know, the right. birth of it coming on during that era. Man, I would have I would have loved it. And there's a certain innocence about it that doesn't seem to exist or it's, you know, it's changed throughout the year. So. Right, right. Yeah, and I would have loved that. I, I, you know what? It, it's always one of the most colorful times to me. Um, whenever I see it, whenever I see, you know, any anything that that's been done with that era, it's just fun. It's vibrant. The music is so alive, and I right. think it, I think it would have been a great time. And clothing wise, oh my gosh, everybody just looked just amazing, spectacular. You know, just we've lost a lot of that today, and and I mean. We have creativity and we have a lot of vibrance still, you know, but it's just mm -hmm. not the same. You just can't get that back. And I would give anything to have lived in that time myself. So. Oh, yeah. No, certainly. Yeah. Yeah. You guys would have rocked some <laughs> some incredible dresses and, uh, you know, it would have been beautiful. Um, you know, Mad Men, I think, helped bring a little bit of it back. You see suits nowadays that yeah. are a little more chemise and, uh, you know, drain pipe cut on the legs and it's kind of cool what's fun about sun records is all of those outfits are literally from the 1950s yeah like like it, it wasn't just costume people putting together stuff they literally went out and found clothes from the 1950s for wow. everyone to wear <laughs> so they're like okay guys gotta hit up all the vintage stores that's really uh, cool yeah, I was like, that's an interesting fact about Sun Records. That's yeah, that's really neat, and I wouldn't have thought about that. And I don't think, I don't think anybody really would have thought to ask that. Honestly, I mean, it, maybe somebody would have, but okay. So, out of all the artists per portrayed on that show, out of all the all the characters, I I'm gosh, one of my favorites is Jerry Lee, man. But that the 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 kid, the Elvis, I'm just like. Everybody is so damn good on that show, and they've just really yes, embraced. They they've really embraced their characters, and they, it's obviously they've researched them. Is there one that is just your favorite to watch? Ah, uh, that's rough. That's really rough. No, um, Jerry I can't Lee, pick Christian one. Leese, obviously killed it with his uh, brother, or who plays his cousin, yeah. uh, Jonah Leese. You know, yeah. oh my gosh, those guys kill it. Uh, Drake Milligan, who does Elvis Presley. You're right. They researched the heck out of it. Drake was talking about like six books that he had read on Elvis and just like really character developing, character developing. Right. And Drake's been playing Elvis since he was like five years old because he loved the music. Right. So he would – there's videos of him doing Elvis, you know, <laughs> but like at malls. And there's like a chicken dancing behind him because he's like in seventh grade saying, well, since my baby left me, there's a little chicken going – do the chicken dance and drake's just like doesn't he he's in the zone he's just in the elvis you know? zone that's awesome yeah. i was i was expecting him in that video to be you know like well found new place give me that chicken huh! <laughs> <laughs> knock him out like, oh, chicken down chicken right, down right yeah. no i drake just and christian killed it and and so did kevin uh fontaine mm -hmm. and uh yeah you're gonna see some incredible stuff everybody's just am amazing and and i just 
I just think, you know, it captures that so just so great it just captures it so accurately in in my mind from what i've researched from what i've seen from what the stories i've heard and it's just it seems so real like you're there and when you when you hear johnny cash sing and you're like oh my god that's johnny cash like this is crazy to me um and i love it all and obviously the fans are loving it all it's it's great and um we've been watching people tweet about you guys all kinds of craziness it's just been so much fun everybody's on board i love it um yeah. But I want to know what about acting in the series appeals to you the most? Because I know we talked about the clothes and the cars and, you know, everything. But but what appeals to you the most about your your character? Oh, you know what? The fun thing about Earl is that um, he's totally different from every everyone else, pretty much, in the series. And the fact to where, you know, they're about rock and roll and they're going to push the limits. And the show is about pushing the limits. And the mm -hmm. show is about, you know, the brilliant Chad Michael Murray and uh, Kira O'Donnell bringing rock and roll to life with Sun Records. And, of course, Marion Keisker, mm -hmm. uh, played by the incredibly talented Margaret Ann Florence, who I got to go on a date with tonight you did. as Earl Hutchins. It was a good date, too, right? It was nice. It, it was nice, but you reminded me of um, the, the Cal in Titanic where he, he ordered her meal for her. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. <laughs> you know, that's I, fine. That's fine. I, I totally agree. And she's a feisty one. And so I, I was I was wondering how that was going to go over. Yeah. You know what? I feel like, you know, Earl kind of played it. He, mm -hmm. he took a step, step back and he, he noticed that, yeah. oh, she, she did not like me <laughs> drink for her. And she's a wild turkey girl. Yeah. So I was like. All right. Yeah, cool. he's like game plan change right now. <laughs> she comes up to that. It's insane. Yeah. The fun thing about Earl is that um, what's interesting about Earl, and I really hope that the audience still likes him. I love him. Um, is that he represents the establishment? You know, he's a cornerstone of that era, that you know just wanted to keep things the way they were. And I think a lot of people want to keep things the way they are, and whether it be in their Definitely. dreams or their own lives. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, there's a certain connect to where you are and the routine that you follow. Exactly. And I think Westworld did a really great job of um, showing that as well as Sun Records. Um, you know, like some people follow their path and life can be a maze. And your central nervous system, it doesn't care about you succeeding and your dreams coming true. It cares about surviving. And Earl Hutchins was about surviving. And every other character is about pushing to the next limit and Earl's just trying to hold on for dear life saying no no it's like your mom you might die please just be careful you don't want to go to out-of-state college right you know Earl right. represents that so you know, I, I think that. that's great and, and I love I love how you've connected and bonded to your character I, I think it's I think it's amazing and I and I want to know is is he who you originally auditioned for is or, or did you know uh, I actually went out for Sam Phillips originally Oh, okay. And uh, Sam would have made a lot of sense for me because, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, <laughs> you know, in real life, I'm a little more of a of a dreamer. Mm. I'm a little more of a go get it. But um, thank goodness they hired Chad Michael Murray for it because he is phenomenal. I think everyone agrees. Um, and I was very grateful that they called me back in for another yeah. wonderful character that obviously Absolutely. wasn't quite as predominant. But they were like, you know what? Give Earl a chance at Marion as well, which we saw tonight. So yeah. it's kind of fun now that Chad and I will start competing for Marion Keisker. That's that's really great. And okay, so Chad Michael Murray had a very interesting scene tonight that I'm sure yeah, all of the did. ladies who watch Sun Records were dying at home. Yeah, no, thank you CMT is what uh, <laughs> I think several women said, say, oh right? my gosh, country music television. <laughs> thank you, Chad Michael Murray's yes. your end. He's got the V going. I'm like, all right, Chad, yo, hands down, brother. Right, I, I was that that snarky look that he had walking away. I was dying. I was like, He's oh my it. gosh, to be in that room. And then the woman, bless your heart. Oh, it was so sweet. Just oh yeah, she's so <laughs> sweet in it too. She's such a great character. I really want to meet her and just shake her hand and be like, hey. <laughs> right, right. I want to be like, were you a Chad Michael Murray fan? And if so, is this the role of your life? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Are, are you like Brian Cranston right now in uh, Breaking Bad, you know? <laughs> is this the role of your life? I just got to know. You're in a room right. naked with Chad Michael Murray. A lot of women would 
you know. Oh my gosh. Well, like I told you, I told you earlier today, I found out my 15 year old daughter has a group of male friends in her, is her sophomore class and in, in high school. Oh. And they are huge Chad Michael Murray fans. And I was just, I love that. I was just like, this is so great that, you know, everybody is talking about this show. Everybody's talking about everyone on this show not just one person everybody i'm hearing people talk about every single person on the show they have something interesting to say about every character and every scene that they've seen and the mass tweets have been just fabulous to watch i i i'm so they're funny they're funny they're just great oh it's something else sometimes it's like it's hard to watch the show because you just want to like <laughs> i know kick back and be like i'm gonna dvr it and i'm just gonna right tweet Great. CMT is well, going crazy, doing awesome tweets. Think Factory Media. It's like, yeah. Ah. And, and how many people are like throwing together scenes, like those funny clips, like really oh, fast. Yeah. And put, I don't even know how they get them up there that fast. It's, I was just dying over here. I was like, oh my gosh, this is just insane. People are on, they're just on it. They're, everybody's loving it. And, and Amazing. so I was, I have some more questions for you though, because we have like, we have a ton of yeah. people that wanted to know. And honestly, I don't know. I haven't, are we getting more questions online too? Cause I'm not paying attention. I'm just talking to you. Um, so, sure okay. So was it a challenge for you to switch your accents from one show to the other? Uh, no, no, yes. And no, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I was freaking out over Nashville actually. Uh, because, man, I worked so hard on the audition piece to do a British accent or a London accent. Right. And uh, I got there and they changed all the lines. And it, it wasn't much. There was a lot of improv that we did. I was just like, man, I'm just going to let everyone down. Oh. And uh, I just practiced that London accent uh, from 8 p.m. until midnight. I was just listening to Benedict Cumberbatch, like nonstop. And then I woke up at, like 5 in the morning on the treadmill just trying to do a London accent. I was like, I'm never going to get it. <laughs> and uh, I just kept with it. And then when I got on set for Nashville, it was kind of like it just laid down real soft, real smooth, and everybody thought I was from London. And then obviously I kept it that night when I met you because I was so proud. You did. You know? and, and it was amazing. And we all believed. We all thought. <laughs> everybody thought that, that you really, that was your accent. And and so when, when we saw you, you know, on Sun Records and we heard you talk, and we were like, whoa, which one is it now? We, You know what I mean? And then, then when I was talking to you today and I realized, oh, okay, you had everybody fooled. You were very okay. convincing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully in like a good way and not like a bad way. No, it was great. It was great. It was fun. And you were so much fun the night we met. Oh my gosh. I, I mean, we, I think we all, the entire group, we were just talking about it forever. It was so much Everyone's fun. So cool. And I, I mean, you hopping up there on that stage and, and like getting in on my interview and it just let me, but then let me do my thing. And then you, you were so complimentary to me and I'm just sitting here like, who is this amazing guy right now complimenting me total nobody you know and i and i oh, love that on. you're killing it i loved it well thank you thank you made thank nashville you. happen for me i was like this is awesome uh, we 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 just cherish those memories it was it was such a great night and it you know i will hold that dear for the rest of my life like i um you know was telling um oh i'm getting confused with the names now jerry lee lewis uh christian lee Chris, yeah okay I, I tweeted to him and I, um, he posted the picture of him and actually Jerry Lee Lewis. And I was just like, man, that is a moment to treasure for both of those men. You know what I mean? Like, that's just such a, that's just th those moments. You just don't get those very often. So I, I was really happy for him to see that. And but, Jerry Lee Lewis, the third is in the show. I mean, Jerry's son is in episode eight and oh, he's wow. so nice. And he, he tweets a lot too, but that's really Jerry Lee Lewis's son. He's one of the nicest people. See, that's great. I, I love it. I love it. Now, what can we expect from your character coming up? Ooh, well, he's going to pursue Marion. Yeah. You know, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? I know. Her, she's beautiful. She's the amazing Margaret and Florence. Yeah, her and it's such a beautiful family, too. Yeah. She's such a great person. Um, but, yeah, you're going to see a lot of that. And then Dewey Phillips and I. Uh, get into a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of heat, some heated arguments. Oh, okay. Because um, uh, you know he's pushing rock and roll, so and he keeps breaking the boundaries. You know, dude, right. he's just crazy, Mr. Kiro O'Donnell, yeah. and uh, just curses on the radio, drinks on air, smokes on air. So, and I have to say that he 
He's a phenomenal actor, that one. And yes, I mean, he is. He is. we've seen him as a geeky, nerdy guy to a villain to a yeah. crazy, weird, crazy painter. I don't even know. You know, in, in, uh, yeah, Wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. I we all loved him. When I met him, I was so freaking starstruck that I just I I was like, yo, I just gotta let you know. I know this is totally the wrong actor thing to do. I said, but I just gotta tell you, man, I, I love your work. Yeah. I love your work. You and know he what? was so nice. He you could tell because he's really humble. He's like, oh yeah, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. It was like, no, nah, but seriously, man, you are like really good. Like, I mean, I followed you like forever, and he's like, oh yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, That's... all right, Kira, I'm going to have to show you like I'm a normal person soon, but I had to fangirl it for a second. <laughs> you know what? Though? I, I mean, I come across that all the time. I know. It's okay. It's just, it's okay. <laughs> no, um, I, I, I've done that a million times, you know, and I always warn my people when I'm doing interviews, like, I'm sorry if the fangirl pops out. She's probably gonna because, you know, like with, yeah. like with Rick Springfield, I sat there with that man and I'm just like, Am I oh, yeah. really here with Rick Springfield right now? And then again with Low Cash and some other people. And I'm just like, this this is not my job. This is crazy. This is great. And, and, and you know, now I get to sit here and do Facebook live interviews. I'm just in a whirlwind myself. So I understand the fangirl moments for sure. It's <laughs> awesome. And this is a brand new thing for both of us, the yeah. Facebook live. And, and I'm this so glad cool. that you agreed to do this with us. And, and you know, it's been so much fun. And um, we had someone ask, Jennifer asked, when will we know if there's going to be a second season? Will we know That's that a great question. Um, you know what? I would imagine they'll let us know within the next couple episodes. Probably by episode six, we'll, we'll hopefully know if we have a pickup right. or not. So, But um, viewership is strong. Yeah. We love our fans. Our fans really have been uh, our lifeline yeah. and really just going after it. As you can tell, blowing up tweets, hitting oh, yeah. number one on Twitter all the time. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just put that, you know, me, little Earl Hutchins, put out that nice little Facebook uh, thing saying, hey, watch Sun Records, and no paid advertising. We yeah. hit, like, over 11,000 views, over 300 shares. Like, we have really great fans out there. It's it's great, and, you know, I think that that's something that we need to tell everybody is, like, keep sharing and keep tuning in. Absolutely. Set your DVRs, even if you are home, you know what I mean? Just because it's always great to rewatch too, right? And you might have oh, that yeah. you might have that friend that comes over that hasn't seen it and you're like, "Oh my gosh, you have to see it." So, I yeah. think I think everybody out there needs to DVR it, share it with their friends, talk about it, post everywhere because the cast is getting involved. The cast of Sun Records has been involved. I mean, I've been watching everyone. Tweets are getting liked, retweeted, replied oh, yeah. to, and nothing makes oh, yeah. a fan happier than one of their favorite actors responding to them in some way, shape, or form, acknowledging them. You guys do it. And they do, thing. every single week. Yeah. All of them. All they, of them. Everybody does. I mean, Chad Michael Murray liked one of my tweets today, and I was like, this is oh, cool. Yeah. But then I'm like, okay, wait, everybody is. This is so phenomenal. It's not just one or two of you. All of you guys are taking the time, which is just, it's just fabulous. We, we, we love seeing that and we love supporting you guys. It's a great show. Yeah, it's it's great. really well written, but it's really well acted is, is the main thing because you can have a great story, but if you don't have great people delivering it, it's not going to work and it is working. I think you guys deliver it well. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, Leslie Greif did a phenomenal job putting this together with uh, Gil Grant and Charles Height. Those are writers and some producers and the creator. You know, you know, Leslie made a, a oh my goodness, Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh my gosh. So you can wow. thank every Chuck Norris joke to Leslie Greif, in my opinion, right. who is our creator, you know, and two time like Emmy nominated, Emmy winning producer, you know. Everything's directed by two-time Oscar-nominated director Roland yeah. Joffe. You know, it's, we, we got we a phenomenal team. You do. So. You absolutely do. And I, I can't wait to just see where you guys go. And I'm like, I can just see all kinds of awards and stuff in your future. Because if I was the one giving out the awards, I definitely would give one to every single one of you. I definitely. Think, sun records, sun records, right? sun records. Absolutely. I mean, 
I Mike have... and Patrick Lane, Mike and Patrick Lane, <laughs> Chad Michael Murray, <laughs> Christian Lee, John Lee. I know. Who's making it happen? Kevin Fontaine, Billy Gardell's taking him, Kiro Donald's taking him. You're so good with all the names. Have you noticed that I really suck at names? I'm like, I'm so bad. Well, at I got that. to know. Yeah, that's not your fault, though. You know, and a lot of people, like, when you walk onto a set, like, you know, I'm shooting this other uh, pilot right now. And um, it's great because, like, I walk up to people and I don't know their name. I know their work. Right. And I just don't like being the guy who, I'm sorry, when I walk onto a set, you, if we shake hands and we say, hey, my name's Matt. Or, you know, right. hey, my name's Bruce. I'm going to be like, hey, what's up? I'm Michael. And I'm going to remember you because we took that time. Right. But you don't have to remember all these people's names. Well, and I'm, you know, the thing is, is when I'm watching, I'm, I'm just like, this character, that's who it is. In my mind, I'm watching them. I'm not, I'm not seeing actor portraying. I'm just seeing the real person here. And, and it's just, it's, it's crazy for me because it's just so real. And I think that's the part that, that kind of trips me out the most is just how wonderful everybody is. And so I just refer to them by their character names because they just stand out so well. <laughs> They're just by all means. Yeah. By all means. Well, so you can tell, yeah. tell your actor buddies there that I mean, no disrespect. I'm just in love oh. with every one of their performances. They're just, they're just spot on. And I, I, I just, man, kudos to all of you. It's pretty great. Was, we was, love having you guys. <laughs> um, there was another one. Okay. So you didn't choose the auditions for, for Earl Hutchins. Why did you want to choose Sam Phillips? That's from Paul. Uh, sure. Uh, what do you mean? So wait, why did when, I want, like, in the original audition why process? Did you, why did you go for Sam Phillips in the beginning? I mean, he just had such a, a great... You know what? The thing about Sam is that he's a creator, super positive thinker, goes way outside the box, also has some problems. I mean, as you can tell, you know, there's some alcoholism there, and there's some really deep pain inside of Sam Phillips. And, uh, you know, through my own personal life, through everyone's personal life, we all go through things. And there was a lot that connected uh, with Sam. So, I, uh, man, I kind of wanted to bring that up and right. humanize him. But, luckily, Chad Michael Murray is doing such a phenomenal job yes. that my hat is off to him. Because uh, he's really made this show uh, something something special, in my opinion. And I think it's such a, a great role for him after One Tree Hill and these great movies that he's done. Right. It's time for him to do a role like this. He He's earned it, and he's very deserving. So, uh, yeah. No, it, it, it is great. Um, I think you would have I think you would have nailed it, though, too, because I can see that inside of you. And I just – you have – you definitely have the look. You could definitely do it. But you have that smirkiness, too. I've seen it in you. And I know I that do. you could have pulled off tonight's scene. I know that you could have. And I'm no, just like, I could have. And I have my own nude scene coming up in episode seven. Oh, Stay check tuned. that out, ladies. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just oh. kidding. I don't. <laughs> Chad, Chad, Chad gets naked again. I'm totally joking. There's no nude for me. Oh, They'd be well. like, oh, turn it off. You're canceled. <laughs> You're canceled. No. Take it all away. You're like, forget the, the second mustache. season. Get no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're, you're too staff. much. No, that's great. Now, with yeah. with is there? Do you know if there's going to be anything interesting with the neighbor and the wife, the two ladies? Because it seems like she's the neighbor's working up the guts to to you know kind of drive that wedge between her and her husband. Oh, you're gonna have to stay tuned and find out. Oh. There's certain things I just can't divulge. See? You know, I they tried, would, guys. Would shoot, I tried. <laughs> shoot me. Yeah, I know no. they would. But see, I'm, I'm one of those people, too, because I'm like the fans that are watching. I'm like, what can you tell us? And if there's a way I can get that information out of you, I'm going to try. But no, I I'm... can tell you this. Okay. I think it gets better every single episode. Would you agree? I do agree with that. Yes, I do. We all agree with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I know you guys are really busy, and you have a lot of shows um, that you guys have been doing and a lot of interviews. I mean, we've seen the entire cast. There was chats going on earlier today. Yeah. Um, I know Chad Michael Murray did a video earlier that people were watching before everybody tuned in. Oh, yeah. So it's just you guys are so busy, and it's so great to see. So anything that you guys want to – you know, send us, um, allow us to help promote. We just appreciate the opportunity that you've given us today to, to actually talk to you after the show. And, you know, this is, this is something that we, we treasure and we've been looking forward to it. And I just can't thank you enough. 
Absolutely. It was it was my pleasure as well. Thank you so much for having me on. No it's problem. Been fun. Is there anything else you want to tell everybody before we go? I know we can't talk too much about the show, but if there's anything oh, else. Oh, guys, just, you know, share it with friends if you're loving it, you know, and if you don't, then don't say anything. But uh, <laughs> I know that you're loving this. So, you know, just tune in every Thursday, 10, 9 Central to CMT. Keep watching Sun Records as Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis evolve and Sun Records is developed because uh, it's pretty magical. And I believe uh, I, w- I would leave you with this. Hmm. This is a show about dreamers. It's a, it's a show about people pushing the boundaries. And if there's anything that people need to hear, love to hear, it's that whatever your dreams are, your dreams can come true as well. So with right. a little bit of luck, this show will just light a little bit of a rock and roll fire under your ass so that when you turn it off, that subconscious mind of yours can really dwell on what do I want to create? Yeah. You know, what do I want out of my life? And then for the next week until the next Thursday, go after what you want. Because Absolutely. that's a magical thing. That is spectacular advice. I love it. And guys at home, don't forget to hashtag in all caps, Sun Records, post away, tweet, Instagram, Facebook, everything. Hashtag all the characters. Hashtag everybody. Just hashtag the hell out of it. And you yeah, never just know. Just hashtag the hell out of it. Yes, and you never know who's going to retweet it, reply, or you know, like it. Probably so. Chad. Chad Michael Murray probably will. Yeah, he. Will. And I will. Obviously, I, I will. Gee, everybody's really. I mean, everybody's sure. so damn good at it. You're going to get a response, <laughs> everybody. You're going to get a response. So just do it. But all right, well, we'll talk to you soon, Michael. I am so excited. Thank you so much for everything, and good luck to you. I know you're working hard, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. See ya.